Hey everyone, one of the ideas I always wanted to try in VFX graph is to make tree leaves using particles. I worked in three main parts of this effect, the spawning of particles around the branches, making the leaves sway like it's affected by wind, and finally adding falling leaves that's also affected by wind. So I started with finding some references of stylized sakura trees and I made a tree in Blender. And for the leaves, I decided to make a mesh around the branches where I want to spawn them. In VFX graph, I had three options of how to spawn particles with this mesh, using mesh sampling, or creating a point cache to spawn from a map, or picking a sign distance field of this mesh. And that's what I used eventually since it has the option to spawn inside the mesh volume itself and not just on surface or edge. So to get the SDF of any mesh, you can actually bake it inside Unity, which is very nice. If you open Window, Visual Effects, Utilities, SDF Bake Tool, you'll have this window where you can choose between if it's a single mesh or a prefab if it's multiple meshes. Also, you can control uh, the resolution from here. For better performance, try to keep it low. When you click Bake, you can see the results here. Also, don't forget to save the asset. And to use it in VFX graph, there is a position block for sign distance field. And I can choose my SDF asset. But as you can see, the output has no data of the actual size or position. So I had to manually position it and it changed its size to match the mesh. I also switched the position mode to volume. To start randomizing this, I added turbulence, but I also wanted to keep uh, the original shape of the tree. Before I continue, I just won't say you can do the randomization however you want. The way I'm doing it was just more fun to do. Anyway, I also added the confirm to SDF block and position it in the same place as the position block, but with a smaller size. and change the parameters of uh, the attraction and turbulence to get something I like. Decreasing the lifetime will also help. But the edges seem too uniform still, so I added more randomization to the position. not much but it looks better now. Well now to the actual particles. I use GPU events to spawn a new particle for every particle that dies in the original system which will be the leaf. The capacity of this system has to match the original system. And this system will inherit position and size. And it needs initial lifetime. It doesn't really matter how much, uh, we will know why in a moment. And now the original system doesn't need to be looping anymore. So I'll use single burst instead. But now everything disappears. So to fix that, in the new system, in update, I'm setting the particle's lifetime to be the age of the system. So basically it will always be alive. Okay now for the visuals. For a start it would be a good idea to have uh, the particles oriented to face the camera. Also I drew a sakura leaf in Krita. I decided to make it uh, in grayscale to have more control over the color inside Unity. 
so I use the gradient to set the color randomly from the particles and I honestly already like how it looks but I would like to add more randomness to the scale and the angle Also since uh, the initialization particles aren't needed anymore, I made the alpha to be zero in the original system's output. Alright, now for the wind motion. I didn't want to use the shader graph for this, and instead I used 3D noise in VFX graph to set the position of the particles over time. To do so, I get the current position of the particle and add it to the total time of the effect and feed the coordinates to a 3D Berlin noise and multiply the output with a random number per particle It's a bit crazy now, but adjusting the range make it more realistic. Also, I would recommend adding another layer of noise for more randomness. And that's it for the wind. Lastly, since uh, this is stylized, I wanted to have like a gradient to make it feel like uh, the top leaves are lighter and they have like a subsurface scattering while the lower part is darker. Sure, you can switch the output to lit quad uh, and get more realistic shadows or even have uh, subsurface scattering in HDRP, but this is not uh, the look I'm going for anyway. So, I used a blend block to overlay a gradient using a sample gradient block. And if I feed the current position to the time input, I can control how the gradient affects the particle. Changing the blend amount will control how strong the gradient is. Also I like to control the color with a float amount as this uh, controls the HDR intensity. I like how it looks like it's affected by light. Also by the way, uh, particles by default don't have shadows, so to enable shadows, Select the output and in inspector window enable cast shadows. Now it looks better. Okay, since this is a Sakura tree, I had to also make falling leaves. And it was very simple really. I created a new system. And for the initialize, I just copied the position block of the sign distance field from the first system. And in update, I added gravity, but leaves are usually also affected by air and drag. So I lowered the gravity a bit. And I will add turbulence and increase the drag. The particles also seem to die fast, so I increase the lifetime and increase the particle spawn rate and capacity. I also want the particle to change angle as they are falling down. So for now, I'll add a set angle random block in initialize. And let's continue in the output. For a start, I don't need the orientation block and I'll match the lock by using the same texture. And from the previous system, I got the gradient color and the random scale block 
and for the angle I will use a multiply angle random block. If I use random number per particle I will get change in angle. But I want it to keep turning while it's falling. So to achieve that I'll get the current angle and add it to the total time. And multiply the results by the random number. Now they will keep flipping as they're falling down. And for the wind, I added force. The force block is very nice, you can increase the intensity if it's a windy day, for example. Change direction. I really like it. And finally, let's enable shadows for this system too. And that's it. Now you can have trees made out of particles. Maybe change the color depending on the season. And yes, you can make them fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking the video and subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Also let me know in the comments what do you think and what would you like to see next. Thank you for watching.